Okay guys, let me show you how this crankshaft is going in. The very first thing you want to put in is your crankshaft. It goes in one way. You have to get your timing chain guide in first. There's a, let me see if I can see show you guys a little pin in there. That's uh, going to be hard to see. There's like a little can't see it but there's like a little um so like a little push thing you just push in a little clip a clip that's it that's what it's called and uh that keeps it from sliding around and uh, as you see the chain has to go around that one lobe and what i did is i i have a tie keeping in place and then there's also a second chain guide too that one right there, there's like a little hole down in there that goes into. Oh, you know what, guys? Hold on. Let me get a better view for you dudes. All right. See that hole down in there? That's where that goes. That actually goes in once the um, engine's assembled. It's really hard to see that pin. And by putting the crankshaft in, you got to rotate it so then your piston rod is about right there. Now let me show you guys what I've been doing. What do you think of that? Look at that bling, man. I did that all the way around. Did the top. Got our valves in. I think I, I think I showed you guys this. I did into the spark plug chambers. Hold on, let's get some light on this. So I got that little ridge coming down in there. And we got our cylinder head done too. I know what you, you, you guys want to see that um, mocked up, huh? All right. All right, there you go. What are you thinking out? That is going to be some bling, Jack. I did her up, man. Went from a piece of crap, 1985 with cobwebs all over it, to that with a little bit of work. I know, I know it's dark in here, but I just want to go through this with you dudes real fast. What we're going to do to the frame is we're going to diamond cut the frame too. Okay, we're going to make a design going like down down the side everywhere it's going to show we're going to have a we're going to have a diamond cut design going on the sides on both sides yes guys we're going to also do up the frame too i'm diamond cutting the frame and i'm diamond cutting the swing arm also i'm going to expand the swing arm you know i, I told you guys i'm going to lengthen a swing arm by four inches and then we're going to put some diamond cuts along here we we'll diamond cut our sprocket. Maybe even on the uh, on the wheel hub, we'll do design on the wheel hub. But on the other frame, we're going to have a design going all the way down there. Everywhere where it's going to be visible, we'll have a design. Because, you know, once you do this to the engine, you have to do up the whole motorcycle. The whole motorcycle has to be diamond cut. And uh, as for the controls, I'm thinking of getting controls from another motorcycle. That's that's a long way off though. First we're gonna get the engine assembled. Right now we're starting to assemble it. 
and uh, I did port and polish my heads so this should have maybe maybe five more horsepower from the port and polished I did port and polish the heads I, I was looking for a um, a big jug kit for this and I couldn't find one so I don't know I you know it's, it's a little bit more money so other than that guys we're starting her up from time to time to keep the battery charged and uh, that's it but that's I want to touch base with you guys that's the very first thing you have to put in is your crankshaft and try to tie the chain down like that there's only it only goes in one way what I did is on a, let me see if you can see the little T I made on there see that little T on that front lobe I um I inscribed the T in there oh I, let me show you the tool that you diamond cut with yeah you know what I think I showed you yeah that's right I, I did guys I did show you guys that on my last video all right I'll catch you guys later on man Come on back and uh, my next, uh, the next thing after I get the torqued sequence down on the crankshaft is uh, we'll put the transmission on over there.